hello guys welcome to another video of this series in the previous video we learned about uh, responsive web pages how to use the breakpoints in Tailwind CSS and how to make our website responsive in this video we are going to learn about customizing fonts or importing our own fonts from local drives for that you need two steps the first one find your uh, font the font you want to use I sometimes find the fonts on Google fonts and after that search for the web format of that font uh, so I just found uh, this font Ruby basically regular WOFF2 format which is the web format of this Ruby basically font I downloaded it and placed it inside my project in the source folder and inside the fonts folder here so we have that in our fonts folder here as well in our project now we can configure it and uh, use it in our project to remind you i again say that uh, don't forget to download the web fonts not the true type fonts or ttf uh, type so when you search in the google fonts you will find if you download it from here uh, you'll find the ttf which will not uh, work uh, fine in uh, Telvin css so you have to find the uh, woff format which we got here uh, for the rubik uh, base now uh, when your font is ready uh, you have to include it in your uh, styler css folder here where your all uh, tailwind and directives are placed above them you have to mention font face font face then inside this uh, curly braces just mention the font family and just you'll give a name uh, you will use this name in your tailwind configuration so whatever you give it uh, be sure about that for example i'm going to give it rubik as i'm going to i'm trying to include this rubik basically font after that the second one or property will be source and the source in the source you have to mention where this font actually is located so let's say it is inside the source folder and give the complete name the complete name which you have here so we can copy it in order to make sure that it is not and there's not a typo so we got it and after that in the same line just mention the format of the font so the format is woff2 that is all for the and so as you save it and just let's see the terminal so the watcher is running and it is building after mentioning it in our styler css and source folder you have to come to telvin configuration inside the extent and here you can extend your phone first uh, as per the documentation of telvin css you have to write font family a new object and inside the object just give a name which you want to use as a font name in your html files for example you had like font serif so serif is the name and here i'm going to use the rubik so i'll give it rubik and telvin is like intelligent and it, it it will just convert it to font rubik so to giving the name just colon and here for the value you have to give the same name that you wrote here okay so the same name and that's let's save it and let's see if we got an error uh, the error is I think here after the object name we have to give a colon as well and we got this rope so uh, now make sure that the okay we got the error the watcher is stopped so we have to run again and okay so building again and now if we go to public folder and install our CSS we might find something no let's see search for font rubik no we didn't get yet let's go to our index.html file and change the fonts inside our uh, this project okay so we'll say font let's say font rubik let's save it and just come here and refresh so not working let's see what's the matter in our st source style css let's check again the name url slash source and 
okay so we have not mentioned the fonts folder here the source and the fonts and after that we get that okay, so let's refresh it oh and a typo here format yeah now we got that let's uh, make it for the all grid for all our grid items let's say font rubik let's save it and yeah we got that one so as font as you want you can use the second font that i have here is the super i don't know we can use that as well the same thing let's make let me copy this one and let's say super here and go to the children configuration adding another uh, item this is super the colon then the value i just named it super over there yeah super so we can again use that super option here in our html let's see yeah now we got the super okay so this was all about the changing or customizing our fonts so kindly share like and subscribe this channel and the next video we'll talk how to customize different colors screens and many more things thank you very much